to today's class in today's class we'll discuss chinese reminder theorem okay chinese reminder theorem what it states why it is called as a chinese reminder theorem it's been uh, formulated by or uh, invented by a chinese scientist the theorem is about the reminders whenever we divide a integers large integers whatever reminder is left depending uh, for that only Uh, he has defined this chinese reminder theorem okay what is the statement now the chinese reminder theorem in short it is called as crt it is used to solve a set of different congruent equations with one variable but different moduli which are relatively prime means what what it means you will uh, you will be given with the set of different congruent equations okay with one variable variable will be one no oh, congruent equations are given variable will be one but it uh, all the equations have different moduli but what is the condition another condition is what those moduli are relatively prime if this is the condition then how you need will get the solution so the equations are of the type x congruent to a1 mod m1 x congruent to a2 mod m2 x congruent to a3 mod m3 so on x congruent to an mod mn okay these equations are congruent equations are like this what when you see this what is the observation the variable is 1 that is what is the variable here variable is x x is same but all the moduli are different and constants a1 a2 a3 there are the reminders we call those are different and m1 m2 m3 up to mn are different but what is the condition condition is what these moduli m1 m2 m3 these are all should be relatively prime numbers relatively prime numbers are means what Al already you have studied in the previous classes if you not it studied or watched that video you can watch that video on relatively prime numbers yes two numbers are said to be relatively prime if their gcd is 1 okay that condition they should satisfy if this is so then the solution that is x how you are going to find the solution the, the solution is found by using the formula that is the solution is unique because the x for all the congruent solutions we have x variable as x then automatically when you solve whatever solution you will get that is unique for all the moduli is yes, which are relatively prime so x is given by a1 m1 m1 inverse plus a2 m2 m2 inverse plus a3 m3 m3 inverse so on an mn mn inverse mod m understood mod m so we have to to find the solution we need to find m capital m and the values m1 m1 inverse m2 m2 inverse up to what can extend this is your chinese reminder theorem now we'll solve this example solve the following equations using crt equations are given as x congruent to 3 mod 5 x congruent to 2 mod 6 and x congruent 4 mod 7 this is the equation this has been asked in your model question paper also okay now solution what is the first rule by the data when you observe this and compare with your general form of chinese reminder theorem what you have we have all x's in lhs in rhs these are a1 a2 a3 and these are m1 m2 m3 simple yes since you are given with the three equations you need to write only three terms so here a1 is 3 a2 is 2 a3 is 4 and m1 is 5 m2 is 6 m3 is 7 now you have all these values according the according to the uh, chinese reminder theorem rule now we need to find x what is the formula right first you write on the formula we have 
x is equal to a1 m1 m1 inverse plus a2 m2 m2 inverse plus a3 m3 m3 inverse mod m s call this as equation star okay now now we want this x to find this x need to substitute all these values in this equation we have a1 a2 a3 now our aim is to find m so that you can find m1 m2 m3 then later we find m1 inverse m2 inverse and m3 inverse using multiplicating first method as now we have m is equal to m1 into m2 into m3 s m1 m2 m3 5 into 6 into 7 when you multiply 5 into 6 into 7 what you will get m is 210 once you get m it is easy to find m1 m2 m3 s now m1 can be find by m by small m1 m1 m is 210 small m1 is 5 so 210 divided by 5 so it is 42 next m2 m2 is m divided by small m2 it is 210 divided by small m2 is 6 so it is 210 divided by 6 is equal to 35 m3 m divided by m3 210 divided by 7 so it is 30 now we have therefore m1 is 42 m2 is 35 and m3 is 30 yes you have all the values written on this okay now now we need to find inverses as yes? how you are going to find inverse i want m1 inverse so you can write it as m1 into m1 inverse is equal to 1 mod m1 s yes? this is our multiplicative inverse formula okay now what is our m1 already we know m1 is 42 into m1 inverse is congruent to 1 mod small m1 is what what is your moduli first model is 5 now by inspection method just by inspection method we have to choose such a number when you multiply with that 42 and divide it by 5 we should get remainder as 1 atta itta inverse find out hege martira inspection method inspection method andre neeve numbers na hakta check maadbeku usually now start maadodu one smallest number inda you start it from one okay one two three start maad hakkondu hogbeku so idu 42 into that number divide by 5 maad nodidaga nimage remainder one barbeku two three four adella bandre only one barbeku okay now for this example when you put it as one 42 number 42 divided by 5 andre two remainder agbeku okay na next to 3 42 into 3 again reminder you will not get it as 1 so when you put it as 3 42 into 3 what you are get you are getting 126 so when you divide by 5 you are getting reminder as 1 so stop there 42 into 3 equal to a congruent to 1 mod 5 so what it indicates so it is m1 inverse is what 3 m jothege 42 jothege new 3 na multiply madidaga divide by 5 madaga 1 baruthe adakke m1 idana 3 is acts as inverse of 42 similarly now m2 m2 into m2 inverse congruent 
1 mod m2 into n o m2 is 35 35 into m2 inverse 1 mod m2 m2 n o small m2 is 6 now take the number for which 35 uh, for which you multiply with 35 and when this is divided by 6 you should get remainder as 1 for this go on checking putting 1 2 and 3 you do this because already i have calculated this for 11 you will get the answer so 1 mod 6 when you multiply 35 with 11 you will get a remainder as 1 remaining 1 to 10 you will not get a remainder as 1 yes you can check it m2 inverse is 11 What you left with M3 as M3 into M3 inverse Congo went to 1 mod M3. M3 in a day, M3, what is M3? M3 is 30 into M3 inverse 1 mod small M3, you know, mod like it is 7. Okay. Now, when you put it as 1, it is 30. Yes, when you divide by 7. Of course, it is not remainder, you will not get it as 1. Yes. Now, for 2 check, again it is 60. So, it is not divided by, uh, it is divided, uh, remainder is not 1, it is divided by 7. Okay. When you put it as 3, what happens? When you put it as 3, again 90. Therefore, you will not get remainder as 1. So, when you put it as 4, M3 inverse as 4, you will get. 120 when 120 is divided by 7 you will get a remainder as 1 that's why it is 30 into 4 congo went to 1 mod 7 okay then m3 inverse is what now it is 4 4 in the multiply madidaga 30 na and divided by 7 madidaga limage remainder 1 bar that's why 4 acts as inverse Okay, you have got all the values. You know A1, A2, A3. Yes, you know M1, M2, M3. And you have got M1 inverse, M2 inverse, M3 inverse. So, then substitute all values in equation star. That's it. Substituting all values in our equation we get what happens now x is equal to a1 what is a1 a1 is 3 into m1 m1 is 42 into 3 m1 inverse plus 2 a2 m2 m2 inverse plus a3 m3 m3 inverse into mod m m is 2 and a again multiply all these simple algebra so 378 and it is 770 plus 480 mod 210 then what you will get this has 1628 mod 210. 1628 is bigger than 210. Simplify. Divide 1628 by 210. So, what we will get? We will get the 7s are 14, 14, 70. So, it is. 158. So, what you can write? It is 158 mod 210. 158 smaller than 120 uh, 210. That's why x is 158. The unique solution for all the given three equations is 150.
58. This is the required answer. Understood? So, I will tell you one simple logic. If you want to check if you have done whether your equation is answer is right or wrong, check with the, putting this value in your given equations here. Yes, put x congruent to 3 mod 5. Yes, check for this. Put x as 158. 158 congruent to 3 mod 5 means what? Divide 158 by 5. Check here, Martira cross verify. 158 na il muru kade haki muru equation na cross verify matri. And then you know 158 divided by 5 remainder 3 bar 158 divided by 6 remainder 2 bar 158 divided by 7 remainder 4 bar If it is satisfied, then your answer is correct. Understood? This is for your reference, for your cross verification. That's it. But to find up to finding the solution is the requirement to do the ex in the exams is yes, to form uh, find the solution so x is equal to 158 for this example okay in the next class i am going to solve some more examples uh, on this chinese reminder theorem till then practice this if you have any doubts do comment in your comment box if you are not yet subscribed my channel do subscribe share with your friends and thank you for your support till then take care Thank you.